This question is from Gate 2014 Mechanical Engineering Paper Set 3, Question number 35. A force P is applied at a distance x from the end of the beam as shown in the figure. What would be the value of x so that displacement at A is equal to 0? Let's see how this will be solved. So on this structure, we can see that load P is acting at a distance x but on the lower part. So this P has to be transferred to point A in order to convert this structure to a cantilever beam. This can be shown like this. So when we transfer this load P here, this load will be acting downward of magnitude P. Along with this, there will be a moment created because of eccentricity of P from point A. So this distance into the load P will give us the moment. This moment that will be created will be anticlockwise with a magnitude P into L minus X. This distance is L minus X. So this is a simple cantilever beam with load P acting downwards at the free end along with a moment acting at the free end that is P into L minus X. Now for zero deflection at point A that is delta A to be zero the deflection caused due to load P should be nullified by the deflection caused due to moment P into L minus X. We can see that P into L minus X is going to cause hogging. That means the beam is going to look something like this while this load P will cause sagging. That means the beam is going to look something like this. Let this deflection cause due to the moment be delta m and this cause due to the point load be delta p. So for delta a to be 0, we need to have delta m plus delta p equal to 0. That means delta m has to be equal to minus of delta p. We have to find the value of distance x. So now using the standard result, we can calculate delta m Delta M is upwards, so this will be positive. The deflection due to moment is the value of moment into L square by 2 EI. So moment we have P into L minus X into L square because span of this beam is still L. So here we will have L square by 2 EI will be equal to minus of delta P that is deflection caused due to point load P will be downwards. That is why it will be negative load P into L cube by 3 EI. Both of these are standard results that we will have to remember for direct use in the exam. By simplifying this, we get L minus X by 2 will be equal to L by 3. Rearranging this, we get X will be equal to L minus 2 L by 3, which is L by 3 can also be written as 0.33 times n. Let's go back and mark the correct option. So our answer is in option C, 0.33 times l. To learn more about deflection of beams, you can refer to the NPTEL video, Lecture 32, Deflection of Beams 3, from the course Lecture Series on Strength of Materials. It is by Professor S. K. Bhattacharya. He is from Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Kharagpur. I hope this solution will help you clear your doubt. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,